available banker. trouble with my account. I was wondering if you could help me. Can you tell your name? Um, my name is Shark Tank. Yeah! Um, hello? I think you might need, I think you might need my slave name. Um, it is... Yeah! That's right! R-N-E. Um, the numbers on the account. Are and we push it. Rock me, baby. Six. Did you get that? Sorry, you're. I'm sorry, you're breaking up. So I heard four three. Oh, I, I, I apologize. Okay. Um, could you still break up a little bit? Okay. Oh, I apologize for that. Um, let me see if I can move around a little move bit. Move me. All right, we moving. We moving. Move me. Um, so the last eight, it would be. I would like to introduce. Eight. Well, you see, I have been dealing with Amazon, and um, I cannot figure out why they continue to charge me over and over and over for many of my items. And uh, I have it all written out and itemized, so it should be very easy. Um, but I have some things that have been charged to my account that uh, I can't quite figure out. It's quite stressful. Well, um, it looks like there is a purchase for some Astroglide. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but it's, it's true. I've heard everything, so it's I apologize for that. <laughs> and, uh, and... <laughs> What's that? What's the amount of the transaction you're referring to? Um, it should be for eleven ninety eight. Fuck my life. I'm gonna die when you say mistake. I think I put it in my car and uh, was looking at it for later and it uh, just got purchased. And then one of the items became unavailable after I purchased it. Um, there was only one left and uh, that was twenty four sixty six. So they, like, I don't know if it's an unreputable um, seller or something, but they're saying that I cannot return it and they have not even shipped it. And this is just crazy. Yes, the so the ones I'm trying to return are the 1198, the 2466, and then I have the rest of it itemized. Um, but on the account, there's also I believe it's uh, was it 1298 or 1398? 1390. Yeah, let, let me pull up my actual bank account so I can um, be a little more helpful here. <coughs> getting in right now. So, the way I see it on my bank account statement is we had a return due to um, some funkiness on my account, and that was five twenty-seven for $30, and I was supposed to have $6.77, and then I was did, that? oh, that was, was uh, that? oh, that was uh, cash app. Cash app. Cash app. I returned cash some money app. to my cash bank account. Cash 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 twenty five sixty eight. Now, I pulled out some money, and it seems they have charged me twice because I have this two dollars that uh, is just lingering. And then there was we pulled it out later. Um, a couple transactions above that um, for twenty three or no twenty two fifty, and that was in seventy five dollars. 
fifty dollars and forty nine twenty five um, for twenty three or no twenty two fifty and that was in seventy five dollars fifty dollars and forty nine twenty five and then we had uh, the grocery store for twenty three forty three and then the ATM transaction and then there's another non Wells Fargo ATM transaction fee that I don't know about I don't know what that is and that was all uh, deposits. Yeah, well, one says one says that it was charged for twenty two fifty, so the two fifty should have been the ATM fee. But right above it, it said two fifty, and that seems that it has charged me twice. Well, yeah. one could be from the <coughs> Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, that's no big. Yeah, that's no that's no big deal. It's only two fifty, so. Um, and then we had the Amazon Prime, which just keeps coming out, and it is annoying. I'm just going to keep that, though. We don't even have to return that. Was that the bad one? Um, $12.89? Then we have twelve eighty nine. dollars yeah, I know. Twelve eighty nine, and then the thirteen ninety eight was fine. Seventy six. Um, that's half the Astro Glide. So seventy six. There should be eleven ninety eight off of that um, Amazon purchase. And then right above it with the 2466, that should uh, also be returned. And I'm going to consider it fraud at this point because they said they had the item and now it says currently unavailable. They don't know when they're even going to ship it out. And then I get on there, they said, they said it ain't shipped. And now it say ship. Like, and it, it hasn't shipped, I don't think. But it still says unavailable. But I, can, I can't even return the damn thing. So I don't know if they're using fraudulent people over there at Amazon. They, it's, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> yeah, the twenty four sixty six, and then I guess, how would it work? Cause the other product is within the seventy six seventy three um, purchase, but it's actually only eleven. It, it's only eleven ninety eight of that um, group purchase. On the whole, so yeah, just do it on the whole thing then. But those, those are fine. So those two um, don't seem to be working out too well. Now, last time it took like two weeks to get my money back. Um, can you? Is there anything you could do this time? Because I'm really trying to get um, my vacuum device. And uh, yeah, it's very important that I. Uh, I need a cell phone. So, if you could credit the account, like... These transactions, are you saying you didn't, you didn't, don't, you didn't do the transactions, or are you saying you canceled it, or... No, uh, well... Well, see, I've been having some weirdness. I don't know if I got hacked by a hacker or something, but, like, I swear I didn't do this. But, you know, like, one of, one of the things is supposed to be there, it's just supposed to be a different item. So, I don't know if it's fraud... Um, I don't want to have to go through like getting a new card and stuff like that if I don't have to, but I don't remember pushing a button, but I... Which one's correct? Um, never received merchandise service, and you can return merchandise but then receive credit. Service not what I expected. Um, let's say do not recognize or, um, uh, that one did not make this trend. Yeah, yeah. And I will go ahead and change all my passwords on Amazon so those slimy snakes can't get in my... So, out of the 7663, you said it was only how much? 1198 out of that. The numbers weren't um, quite adding up, were they? No. So where did that get found? Cause hold on. Oh, I'm just talking. Yep. Why aren't we doing the math over there, baby? And uh, um, so 25. Si you got a calculator on you? No. Um, what the hell, I need a calculator for. <laughs> well, I'm using my fingers right now, and I can't count that high. So <laughs> shit. But if I'm doing my rough math here, that's about 220, 30, 238 dollars. 
and we only spent about 159 on Amazon. So this guy's probably like, I don't know how to help you, but there is money missing that would have uh, been the problem. Why don't you look at your piece of paper? Because you said that it was $159 yeah, or something. The whole 125 still doesn't, still doesn't add up. Yeah, that's 225 I don't know. I don't know where it gets funky. But believe I know how to get funky. <laughs> My guy right there. <laughs> so we got 677 Hold on. Man, I wish they put these ending daily balances everywhere because it makes it way easier. And then uh, the 2466. And that should pretty much even the account out, I think. But we did put in $225 and we did itemize all of our... Uh... Oh, that's what it was. Remember, baby, it was that um, 1289 was done twice. What was it? It was the... Wasn't the cord? Maybe that. Maybe the the Astro guide was actually twelve eighty nine. They charged it twice, I think. Anyways, that twelve eighty nine ain't supposed to be there. So the twenty four sixty six seventy six seventy three and the twelve eighty nine. Yeah. But like I said, uh, the seventy six seventy three. I don't know if they're gonna have to like return everything because most of that is supposed to be there. It's only eleven. Like it might be twelve eighty nine, but it, like eleven ninety eight or twelve eighty nine um, is not correct in that seventy six seventy three order purchase. And then the twelve eighty nine one below that is not good because I think they charged me twice for um, a product. And then the twenty four sixty six is also not supposed to be there because it now says currently unavailable, and I don't know when the hell I'm going to be able to get that thing. <coughs> I do, I do. Alright, uh, process your claim. Keep this reference number for your records. Alright, and then please hold one and transfer to a claim specialist for further assistance for your claim in order to help protect your account to prevent additional authorized transactions. Please do block when your card that prohibits new transactions. If the block's not moved by a claim specialist, we'll automatically send you a new card. Well, to the specialist. well, thank you for your help today kindly. I appreciate you. Sure, no problem. Just a second. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Well, hello there. Um, my name is Shark Tank, but my slave name is Jason. There are a couple purchases that um, I I don't remember making, um, and one one actually isn't supposed to be the entire purchase. Part of it is actually correct, but I purchased an Astro Glide and. Uh, I needed to return that, and that's 11.98 within the 76.70 account. But he say that I have to return the whole thing. So those three items need to be returned. Yeah, I need my money back at the point. Yeah, and the thing is, is that I believe that they were purchased uh, a little bit unfoundedly because um, the item that I wanted is now currently unavailable and they are saying that I cannot return the item in question. I don't have this item. So I don't know what happened. It's similar to a product that I would like to purchase or have purchased, but um, it, it is not working out correctly. I believe it to be a fraudulent account within the Amazon infrastructure. Okay. Now last time it took Quite some time to get my money back. Um, I don't know. Like, the money ended up coming back last time. Is there any way to credit the account so I can... I need a cell phone badly. So, I need to... Uh, well, the thing is, that those transactions are still pending. So, it's, it's, not, it's not allowing us to issue the credit when they're pending. Only when they're fully posted to the account is when we can apply the credit right away. The money, so, the um, as so, far as the transactions... Like, <clears throat> so since they have, yeah. so since they have not taken the money yet, can you, uh, can you just like wipe those out so I can get my money back real quick and maybe they won't send it? 
Or maybe even better, they do send it and I get my money back. Unfortunately, the bank, the bank is not allowed to cancel any transaction when they're authorized, when they are made. That's why we have uh, uh, the claims department, because we can dispute them once they are posted on the account. But whenever they are pending, no one can actually cancel those transactions. Well, that is certainly um, a terrible um, situation. Um, the only thing that I recommend for you to do is call Amazon. And they are the ones who made those authorizations for their pur- for those purchases. They are the only ones that can cancel those transactions right away since they are still pending. Well, I call over there to Amazon, and you know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. They don't got any fucking people in the goddamn phone department. This is Amazon, and it's crazy. I'm not yelling at you. Trust me. The bank is very, very helpful. These people are ridiculous. Do you know it take about two weeks to get something from Amazon now? I can't believe it. I think my Amazon days yeah. are over. Okay. Um, yeah, because the only thing I can do is just notate all of this. Um, when you stated that this is something that might be due to a fraud account. Yeah, um, I think. You're saying that this is different. Yeah. Man, I swear, I get they get me every time, but uh, I, I searched for the lowest price, and I knew it was cheaper than normal. So I tried to buy it, but I'll be damned if the damn thing said currently unavailable right after I purchase it. So, and now it doesn't seem that it's coming or maybe someday in the next 20 years. Okay, so I'll go ahead and dispute all of this as uh, so merchandise not received. Yeah, I just... Those transactions to clear. I just want to make and, it very... Uh, I just want to make it very clear that uh, that 76, 73, I don't want to look like a thief or anything like that. Um, only 11.98 or was it 11.89? Mm-hmm. Um, only part of that purchase is supposed to come out. So like $60 or 50, $50 $60 of that is supposed to be there. So if they have to refund the entire thing, I can just do that and repurchase, but I don't want to look like a liar. this to the claim so based on that we are only disputing um the total amount of 49 dollars and 53 cents that is it that is the um, perfect amount of money uh, all right once they clear that's when you're going to see the credit back on the account okay and my um, my beautiful my beautiful angel to the right here is saying that you have locked my bank card um is that a true statement what's that again um I, well she this lovely lady right here is saying that um, you have locked my bank account uh, card. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's so, still so usable. So what she did, she fought a fraud claim, meaning that she placed a block on your debit card, but due to the information you gave me, this is not considered a fraud situation. Right. So your debit card will be reactivated. Everything okay. will, be, uh, will be fine with, with the debit card. Okay. Uh, we just, like I stated, we just have to wait for those transactions to clear, then you're going to see the credit on the account. Perfect. All right, that sounds good. All, All right. right. Any other questions or anything else I can do for you today? Um, well, I guess I'm just wondering how long this process could take if um, these uh, just slimy snakes over there at Amazon try to take my money and I don't receive anything. When do you think that I will be receiving my money back? Well, it all depends on when our, um, based on Amazon, when they cause the, like, the whole process for that transaction, they're still pending. Whenever a transaction is pending, we have to provide you a time frame of one to ten business days. Oh, it never takes that long, but that's a time frame we have to provide you with. You might take between 24 to 48 hours, which is a normal time frame. But how does that matter? <clears> and I guarantee you gonna go out, they're going to post on that time frame. Okay, and if they are not uh, pulled out of pending within the next, like, let's say, two days, can I call y'all back and, uh, you know, complain viciously at you? Unfortunately, um, if you do have the callback and that transaction is still pending, uh, everything will stay the same. We can file a complaint for one, but mm-hmm. the money wouldn't be back on the account until they are fully posted. Okay, it looks like uh, this is why I'm not going to be working with Amazon anymore because uh, this just happened about right. two weeks ago. So, um, thank you for your help, and my Amazon days are fucking over. 
Hey, you have been very helpful and a kind, kind person. And I appreciate you more than you know, sir. You're so welcome. I'd like to thank you for calling once more. Have a good day. You have a pleasant one yourself. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious, man. Eh? Oh. <laughs> What did he, say? he said, like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs>